the road to becoming a starting quarterback in Division I college football is not for the faint of heart. Current University of Kentucky junior Terry Wilson knows this all too well. The second year starter began his college career at the University of Oregon before transferring to Garden City Junior College. Terry Wilson is from Dale City, Oklahoma, maybe the top dual threat quarterback in the country. There's talk that in the next couple of weeks he's going to make a commitment to a D1 school. They're not saying who it is, but he could send shockwaves through college football when he does it. Two inches too far. And it's a quarterback keeper. Yes, Wilson. Wilson's got the first down to the 15-yard uh, line. Garden City has forgot about the run game. They're just going to air it out. Yeah, Wilson's got, Wilson's got him a guy open at the 10-yard line. Great throw by Wilson, drops back, good protection up front, and he lays it in perfectly. I don't know who he's going to commit to, Joe, but whoever the, it is is getting him a great one. It was definitely a grind, and I knew that it, there was something bigger than, than, than Juco football. Um, I just didn't know where, but I feel like when those coaches came and see me in Garden City, Kansas, you know, I, I just knew instantly that that was going to be a right fit for me, and I wanted to you know, do something special here. All right, so we've got an entire crew of people here, as you might expect, as these names and these letters of intent are rolling in fast and furious. Of course, this is a guy that's getting a lot of buzz, um, and a lot of folks are talking about a very highly rated uh, JUCO player. So let's get to know Terry Wilson. Originally had committed to Oregon and redshirted that 2016 season uh, before he went to community college, and then he chose Kentucky over Florida, Nebraska, Indiana, Ole Miss. And three years of eligibility, just the one year in junior college. Really excited about working with him and getting him here in January and being able to go compete at the position. It's exciting. Coach Henshaw, thank you very much, sir. Thank I know you, you so much. Well, you know, we got him in January, which was huge, and that was that was very important, and, and especially for his, you know, his progression on the, in the, on his learning curve. Because again, there's a lot of bad habits that you get into in JUCO ball because they're just they, you know, they 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 let you get away with them. So we had to come in and we really started from scratch on, you know, his footwork, you know, what his reads are, you know, and try to simplify as much as we could as we went through spring ball. And he picked it up pretty darn good. There, yeah. I love your pounding him right yes, there. Sir. Arriving on campus early was paying off for the Oklahoma City native. Wilson was making strides towards becoming a better quarterback between the years. But after a long season in Garden City, the grind of junior college football was still weighing heavily on Wilson's body. You know, come from JUCO, it's a lot of guys that come from JUCO and their bodies are, you know, are tore up. Um, and they're not getting the proper, um, you know, treatment that they need and, and stuff like that. So I feel like just coming into the season, I was already, you know, had, you know, a little knee injuries, a little tendonitis, um, you know, just a little, you know, achiness and stuff like that. So going into the season, I was already a little shaky. Um, and just after that Mississippi State game, I feel like that sealed the deal. You know, I was I was going through it. I was my shoulders were hurting, my knees, both of my knees were, you know, banged up. And I feel like it was just mental. It was a mental thing for me just to stay focused and um, know that we had a, a task for this team and we had a task to finish. Formation for Kentucky. Fake to Snell, Wilson, rolling right. Looks to throw, now he's going to pull it down and run. Got room across the 25, cuts back in the middle of the 30, breaks the tackle, dives out across the 40, and out to the 42-yard line. Wilson looks to throw, steps up in the pocket, now he'll run. Sprints off to the right, cuts up the middle, across the 40, cuts right at the 45, across the 50, across the 40, cut down. Well, one thing to understand, too, with the quarterback position is that toughness part of it, that's what makes you either a good quarterback or a bad quarterback at the end of the day. And there's a lot of guys that don't have that toughness, and you see that they have the arm talent, they have all the the talent in the world, but if they don't have that toughness to be able to fight through the bumps and bruises and you know you, you get up and you're looking through your ear hole, your helmet gets ripped off, people are trying to come and literally hurt you every play. And you have to have that mental toughness and that physical toughness to be able to go and be successful as a quarterback. Third and a yard near the goal line, Wilson hands it off, Snell to the left side, Benny Snell, touchdown! Terry's really hungry. Uh, 
I love the hunger that I see in Terry, uh, starting with the off season. He really worked hard with Coach Henshaw and really studied himself fundamentally. You know, what a, it all starts there at all positions, but certainly a quarterback, and he's really worked hard uh, fundamentally to put himself in better position. Obviously, schematically, uh, that comes without saying the comfort level is improving. Liz, Liz, I got you, I got you, come on. Get your ass on, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, was that a sack? I don't think nobody touched me. Hey, that was awesome. Yes, sir. Year two, Terry yes, Wilson is going to be explosive. He's going to be more dynamic, smarter, um, and even faster and stronger. You know, I've been working really hard this offseason, you know, watching a lot of film and just working on my mechanics, just making sure that I can, you know, fix the little things that can help me on the long run and um, just go. help my team. We good. Offense on me, offense on three, one, two, three. The thing is, uh, you beat him, he's on you trailing. I'm going to put it out here. You just cut up and go. You feel me? Cut up and go, score a touchdown. In his second year at the helm, Wilson has developed into a player who leads by example. And let's go! Allowing him to let's get the go. most out of his teammates every single snap. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get it, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, G. Let's go. I'm a type of player that wants to be around hungry guys 24-7. You know, we're always um, slept on and everybody thinks we're the underdogs, but I like that. I like that people think that we're not good enough to beat them. I feel like, honestly, I feel like it, it's a good thing for us. I feel like it, it fires us up, you know, and it keeps us motivated, um, keeps a big chip on our shoulders, so we know that we have to go out there and, and give it our all. Good day, man. It was a good day today, man. Tapped in with Terry. Touchdown. 